Hello and welcome back and today we want to look at hard drives for Enterprise NAS system. We've already looked at the Synology 880 5300 in a number of ways in terms of noise and performance and today we want to start the comparisons. Today we are looking at comparing the Synology 8TB HAT 5300AT versus the WD Red Pro 8TB drive. We're going to look at these two drives, we're going to test their spin up noise, we're going to look at performance in AJA, we're going to look at performance in Atto Disk Benchmark and 10 GBE file, uh, 10 gigabyte file transmission. So we're going to be transferring one and a huge 10 gigabyte 6,000 file uh, system onto these drives and ultimately find out the performance differences between them, what you're getting for your money, what the highs, the lows, and ultimately hopefully help you decide which drives you should put in, be putting in your system in the future. So without further ado, let's go straight into the testing. We're going to start with a test on the Synology range of hard drives and we're going to spin up that first drive in its own cell. We're doing a OneDrive environment. In another video coming soon, we're gonna be looking at RAID environments. This video is about single drive utilization via a USB 3 dock and sound isolating system with its own dedicated DB monitor. So let's go into our one disk testing and look at the spin up first of the Synology HAT 5300. So first up the Synology. So again, a bit of knockage there in the background, not too much. We should see how this compares with the WD. The drive arrived pretty promptly there as a mapped. And that early noise from the WD Pro is, was to be expected, but certainly noticeably louder than that what we saw on the other drive. Now, if we look at them both together, we'll have the noise playing together. Let's listen to them. You can certainly notice the difference between these two drives and their spin-up methods. Even there on the chart, on the decibel meters, you can definitely see the WD drive there spiking quite consistently in terms of noise and audio level. Not too bad, and certainly on a large level of a rack, you're not really going to notice it, but spin-up noise has to be said. The Synology is the quieter of the two. Let's move into the AJA testing. Now the AJA testing we did for previous videos as well, we can see here on screen, and this is going to be a consistent trend throughout this, is the WD Pro drives do seem to give that tiny mite bit more. When it comes to the right performance consistently throughout this AJA 1 GB, uh, sorry, 4 GB test file, the WD um, drive gave something like 10 to 12 maybe on the very highest peak, around 15 megs more per rotation. Now, this did fluctuate, but all the way through this, once again, there was that noise. If you do look at the charts there with the Synology drive on the left and the uh, WD drive on the right, you do notice that the WD drive is just making that bit more noise. Now, again, in an enterprise-level setting, who cares? If you are like utilizing these in some 8 or 12 bay rack mount device, you are never going to hear these drives anyway. The performance difference between them is still very, very small, it has to be noted, with the WD definitely giving a little bit more, uh, and it's a slightly fractionally more expensive drive, but it has to be said between these two drives, the difference is negligible on the single drive level. Now, I should have done uh, an iSCSI target test as well. I never really got the opportunity to do it. I stuck with the mapped network drive of a single drive. When we do our RAID comparative testing um, in the RS3621XS Plus that's going to be utilizing these drives alongside the Synology in a four-disc RAID environment, um, that is where we're going to see a little difference there between the two of them in terms of overall performance. But because of that slight improvement, in performance on the WDs. Even after around about a minute, we've already seen 
that the read-write performance on the WD Pros on the right-hand side of the screen has already start, started exceeding um, the rotation. You can see it's already moved on to a third of the way through the read when the Synology has started the next read wave. Now, obviously, if you played this out over hours, this would equal a little bit of a gain. In a RAID environment, I do think these would cap out and you wouldn't necessarily see an increase of you know 10 meg per each WD drive, but I think it would translate to something. So now we're gonna move on to some Atto Disk Benchmark tests with the one drive. Now the Atto Disk Benchmarks, hopefully you guys are watching this on an HD um, um, upgrade on YouTube, because otherwise you're going to find it very tough to see the writing. But um, on the left-hand side of the screen there, it goes I IOs or IOPS, then read-write performance, and on the right-hand side of the screen, we've got the WD Red Pros. And straight away, even glancing at these, you can see that consistent thread all the way through. And the WD Pro did give a, just a little bit more in practically every one of those rotations. In the IOs, the improvement was actually noticeably greater. And I know we don't normally measure hard drives in terms of the IO performance, but when you reach an enterprise multi-bay level, I do think that's when you should really start to look at these things. Because once we look at even this single drive, we could see several, you know, a, a large increase of around five, maybe even close to six, um, uh, 6,000 IO difference between them. In terms of uh, read and write, in the traditional sense, once again, the WD drives at practically every single level, with a few exceptions there, were able to exceed the read-write performance of that Synology drive. Obviously, we are looking at two drives that are meant to be for larger scale use, eight bays and more. These aren't really designed for single drive utilization as many would be keen to highlight, but still nonetheless, let's move to the next test, a 10 gigabyte file. So now I moved over a 10 gigabyte test file onto this mapped drive, a single 10 g video file in MKV, and straight away the WD took an early lead. Uh, but we will be doing a multi-faceted um, 10G test in just a moment, but even on this single file, the WD drive did take the lead. Once again, it's making more noise. I mean, look at the graphs compared to the two of them. It's a far more erratic uh, decibel level, but once again, if you, that should only really concern a lot of people using these in smaller four, six, and eight bay desktop chassis in a relatively small environment. In a rack mount, it's less important, but it has to be said overall, in terms of general um, uh, utilization, the WD easily took the lead there in terms of that single 10G file. So it'll be interesting to see the multi file test now. Now the multi-file test, I had to speed up times five. This is 6,000 files equating to 10.3 gigabytes. Um, so fast forwarding it there, you can already see the WD drive took a very early lead and it ultimately did complete the job a lot quicker. And this is what I meant about aggregated improvements over time. Obviously this is reflective of a single drive, but still nevertheless, the uh, WD Pro drive there certainly got the job done and its single drive capacity a lot sooner. So what can we take from these results? Well, ultimately, in a single drive utilization, the WD Pro does seem to be the greater drive of the two. It's a noisy one of the two, but it definitely got the job done quicker in terms of traditional read and write performance. Now, all obviously hold off all judgment until we the, the RAID array, because again, the Synology drives, they are very, very keen to highlight as a brand that these are designed for their systems and that is where they shine. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if it can live up to that promise once we've got these installed in that Xeon XS powered rack mount. But still nonetheless, in single drive utilization, the WD Red Pro does win the day. We will be comparing this drive uh, from Synology against the Ultrastar 
and the Seagate Iowolf Pro and Exos very shortly in the same comparisons we've seen today. So stay tuned for those. But otherwise, I know this has been a dull dry video, but it has been for a reason. And I hope it helped some of you to stay tuned for the follow ups. And I will see you on the next video.